What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the Anything Better podcast, NFL edition. Guys, we are back for season three of doing our NFL picks, sponsored by who? BetMGM, of course. Guys, before we get started, we got to shout out the sponsor, BetMGM. And they're doing, of course, an incredible promotion up front. You place your first bet at the BetMGM Sportsbook, uh, wager through BetMGM Sportsbook, mobile application, at least $10. That's it. $10, you will receive $200 instantly. Uh in additional winnings regardless of the wager's outcome. All right, so you're basically, you put $10 in, you're getting $200, okay? How do you get this offer? Four easy steps. You download the BetMGM Sportsbook app um, on uh, I, on your iPhone, Android, or visit BetMGM.com. Sign up and deposit at least $10 into your newly created account. Place a wager in the amount of at least $10 um, and you guys are going to get, you're going to, oh, actually, and a standard odds price qualifying bet, right, Andrew? Once you have placed a qualifying bet, you'll receive $200 in bonus bets, regardless of the outcome of your wager, guys. So it's $10, you're getting $200 regardless, all right? Um, and then we're doing something new this year. BetMGM is doing something new, and this is completely free when you register. They are doing the first ever, we are doing the first ever su uh, Survivor Pool, okay? So Survivor Pool is basically you pick one team each week, and as long as that team wins, you, you stay in it for a grand prize at the end. Register uh, at the BetMGM Sportsbook, get an account, or log in your existing account between at 12 p.m. Eastern on September 4th, uh, 2023, and 12.59 p.m. Eastern, January 7th, 2023. Go to the Promotions tab on your BetMGM Sportsbook account to access the BetMGM Football Survivor Pool Challenge free-to-play game. Create your free entry. Choose a team to win each week to win in a BetMGM uh Football Survivor Pool Challenge. Once you've selected the team, they can't be used again. So if you choose the Patriots to win that week, Patriots are done for you for the year, and that's how it that's how it goes. All right, uh, be the last player standing to win our grand prize, two hundred and fifty thousand dollars. I mean, you're getting half of. That's I mean, getting, all you get. You get. What? You can't pick the same team every week. You're going down to that. You're fucking looking at. The two shittiest teams by week 18, and you only get 250 grand. I mean, it's a quarter of a million, dude, to pick football. Not, games. not in California, it isn't. That's about $38 <laughs> after taxes. <laughs> uh, uh, well, that's the fault of the voters, isn't it? What movie? <laughs> Naked Gun? Oh. Uh, <laughs> Leslie Nielsen. I love when they blame the voters. You know, like we like this actually have anything to choices. do with choices. Um, yeah, they all work for the same guy. You must create an entry and select a team uh, for week one, September 7th, okay, to be eligible for the grand prize. So it's a little, little fun, free survivor pool that we have not done. And uh, there you go, everybody. We are back. Uh, sign up, get the bet MGM app, get your $10 in there. You get 200 bucks. And of course we always want to tell everybody bet responsibly. Okay. This is for fun. This is football seasons back. Have fun and, uh, enjoy Don't lose your house is what no. he's saying. Be responsible and have fun. Don't with go you. into your girlfriend's purse. All right. <laughs> have a good time. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, all right. Well, first year bill had first pick. Second year, I had first pick, so I think that puts it back in my buddy's, back in my in the court of my well, buddy Bill. Well, well, so surprise, surprise, the king has returned. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you give me the Nate Diaz fucking, you choked me out the last two years. Um, let's see here. I, you know what? I'm just gonna go with the game that fascinates me the most because I am an AFC East fan. I'm diving oh, right you. in with Bills and Jets. And, Paul, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, the mental tennis that I played on this game, uh, it would, would astound you, considering all the important things that are really going on in my life. But I've been thinking about this game all week. 
And you know what? As much as I believe in Aaron Rodgers, yep. as much as I want to see the Jets win this game and stop this foregone conclusion that the AFC East divisional title belongs to the Buffalo Bills, I just don't – I think, you know, as great as Aaron Rodgers is, he's got to get to know this team. You know, they don't know each other yet. There's going to be some growing pains, Paul. First sports cliche of the of the year. There's going to be some growing pains. I like the Buffalo Bills to bring those Jets fans down on Monday night. They're going to be so amped up. They're going to be so fucking happy. All right? And that kid, Josh Allen, with the fucking claymation face. Have you seen that guy? He looks like the fucking face they put on every fucking puppet when I was growing up. <laughs> Literally looks like Davey from Davey and Goliath on top of this man body. That's what hurts, Paul. <laughs> is, a, is a man with the face of an eight-year-old boy is going to come into New York City and once again rip the green heart right out of their chest. I like overall Aaron Rodgers this year. I like the Jets' chances. But I'm going to go with the Buffalo Bills laying three. Two and a half. Going line. into the the, job, huh? the line changed to two, two and a half. Two and a half. Oh, I love it. Yeah, that's better for you. I love it. I, I don't care if Josh Allen is spotted on Fifth Avenue buying a new fucking bracelet. I still think he wins the game. <laughs> All right. All right. Bill's got the Buffalo Bills laying two Buffalo and Bill Burr this week. Buffalo Bill Burr, two and a half over the Jets. All right. Um, that's a tough dude. That game is like that's a that's a good one. Um, all right, guys. I have to pick this game. Because I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there. I'm going to be there with Ari Shafir and Steve Renazizi. Ari Shafir is a big Cowboys fan. Steve Renazizi is a big Giants fan, as of as am I, of course. The new look New York football Giants are going to be opening against the Cowboys for the first time at home, I believe, in like a decade. Because they always open in Dallas. And this is why I like the Giants. It was three and a half. It went to three. We're getting three. I love that. Daniel Jones is settled in a home. He's got his money. Saquon Barkley settled on a deal he liked this year. We finally have weapons. Darren Waller. We finally got Shepard back healthy. We got good tight ends. Defense is yet to be seen, but I love our chances coming into Monday night, uh, Sunday night football at MetLife against our hated rival Cowboys. I like that we're getting three. I love when the Giants are home dogs. I love when the Giants are home dogs against a rival opening night. So I got the Giants getting three Sunday night. I'm going to be there. I got to take that. You guys are getting three. I love that pick. We were getting three and a half and it dropped, but yeah, I, I love that pick too. I just don't, I don't have any faith until in, with the Dallas Cowboy infrastructure. I just don't have any, they have, they, that team has started and stopped more goddamn times um, than that fucking guy, you know, that keeps quitting comedy, then comes back and you got to keep talking him into it, you know? Um, I love that pick. Uh, all right. My next pick, Paul Verzi. All right. I'm going with the Chicago Bears. The Bears oh. lay in one against the Aaron Rodgers list. Uh, Green Bay Packers. They got some rookie kid coming out. I don't give a fuck how good he is. That's his first NFL game. I don't even know who the Bears have. I know that they hate each other. I always know it's a close game. And I got to go with experience. Uh, I'm in Prague right now, Paul. I've gotten about 27 minutes of sleep so i'm taking i never bet the chicago bears but i'm going to take the chicago bears laying one against the green well, bay packers at home in their space station stadium well i will tell you one thing bill you stole my next pick because that's a great pick that's a lock that's a win put it in a bank it's done oh Puff, come on don't put the mush on it dude take the snake what are you thinking there this is our ace rothstein introduce yourself to the fans there what's up jake Hey, how's it going? Um, I don't know. I have a weird feeling about Green Bay in that one. But, you know, um, the Bears, I really like their quarterback. So I think that's going to be a good game. Um, rivalry game, too. Um, you look like a but, fucking mob lawyer. 
<laughs> like you'd be leaning yeah. in my ear, like Bill. I don't think I take the bears over there. Yeah, I just want to introduce people to you. I, you know what? I just sure. about I won't your give glasses. Face, but yeah. so, okay. Something about your glasses makes you trustworthy to me. Um, Paul, you. uh, you're on the block. Paul Verzi takes the fucking oh. weight off the bat. He's coming up, up to the plate. Bill and he just goes took, blurry on this one. Bill just took. Uh, Bill just took a little wind out of my sails there because I love the bears. Um, all right. All right. You think I give a fuck? I'll fucking bounce. I'll, I'll, I'll get another one. Okay. <laughs> did you have no more picks? No, no, I did. You're stammering here. Oh, you I loved did. that. That's what I, that was. I did. I loved, I loved that Bears pick because I think that the Packers will figure it out, but not week one. And Justin Fields with the Bears is at home. I love the pick. Um, all right, dude. There, there's some really, really tough games on this here, but, um, I know where you're going, Paul. <laughs> no. I think I know where you're going. No. You're on a flight to San Diego. <laughs> we all know you're going there, Paul. No, no, no. You got I, your flip-flops I, on. You got on your fucking Hawaiian shirt. You're uh, going to San Diego. <laughs> Andrew, gun uh, to your head. Where's he going take... next? He's going to he's going to Pacific Beach. <laughs> he's going to he's going to San Diego. Taking the five south. I'm going to take the Detroit Lions getting six and a half opening night against the Kansas City Chiefs in Arrowhead. I have a feeling. I have a feeling that the the Lions are going to give the Chiefs all they could handle opening night. I think everybody and their mother is betting the Chiefs because they're coming off a Super Bowl win. But I remember what the Detroit Lions were doing towards the end of the year. They love their coach. They're buying into their coach. And um, I think the Chiefs win the game. But I think the Chiefs win the game on a field goal. And I love the six and a half points by the Lions. I'm taking a dog week one, which is scary for me. I'm not going to lie. I'm That not gonna... game has backdoor cover written all over it. I hope so. Like the Chiefs are going to cover, and then they're going to go and do a fucking prevent. They're going to go right down, just give them a touchdown, you know, as you throw your koozie through the fucking window. I'm not really uh, confident in the pick. I like. I'm not. I'm. I'm. I'm fifty fifty on it. I'm scared on it. Okay. Bill just threw my week with the Bears, so now I got to scramble, which is a great strategic thing on him. You know. Oh, I'm, I didn't. I didn't know you were taking him. Um. All right, Paul. Guess who's going to San Diego? <laughs> this guy oh. taking a southwest flight from Prague, Czech Republic. And I'm going there, Paul. And guess where I'm going? Uh, I'm not going to the Bolts. I like the Dolphins. Whoa. I like the Dolphins. Whoa. I do. Exactly. Exactly. Because everybody's like, oh my God, fucking, you know, Justin Herbert's going to come back and. They're the fucking charges. And I swear to God, dude, I even through all the Brady and Belichick years, the Dolphins win these types of games. They just do. Even no matter how good we were, Paul, they fucking always beat us at least once. Yeah. I'm taking the Dolphins. Getting some points here, Paul. Dude. So, you know, that's another great pick. Bill's coming out. You look like you did your home. You're coming out sharp this year. I could tell. You got a different attitude. Scaring me. Uh, <laughs> I'm fucking bullshitting here, dude. I can't name the starting quarterback of fucking 19 of the teams. For my third pick, guys, I'm picking a team I said. I, I said this was happening. It's going to happen. This team is coming big time. Their quarterback figured it out. They got the coach now. They scared some people in the playoffs. I'm going to take the Jacksonville Jaguars uh, to beat the Colts by five in Indy. But I think Jacksonville comes out very, very strong after they finished. Trevor Lawrence is playing great. Like I said, the coach, they figured something out over there. And um, the Colts are in – the Colts are just – not they're they're a mess right now they don't know what they're i mean they're a mess so uh i like the jaguars to go in there and win by at least a touchdown i will take the jaguars plus four and a half in indy for my third pick andrew you're writing these right i like that i think jacksonville's a great franchise um 
All right, I'll tell you the toughest game of the week. And I'm thinking about jumping on. I don't know what is the for me is the Bengals versus the Browns. Okay? Because I don't know how fucking uh Shake Shack Johnson there is gonna do a quarterback. <laughs> the guy from the massage parlor who's back, how he's gonna do with the Browns. And then Joe Burrow, how do you go against steady fucking Joe? How do you go against him? He, they're, they're giving three, right? The Bengals? Two and a half. Two and a half. Now, the conservative side of me wants to go with Mike Vrabel and the Titans going down to New Orleans. Um, oh, you know what? You know what? I got a little I got a little subtle nod there from Jake, Jake the Snake. I saw a little fucking nod. I don't know. I got to take you off the screen, dude. You're affecting me here. Um, oh, what am I going to do? You know, Paul, I'm going to go with excitement. Because I'll tell you right now, the Titans versus New Orleans Saints bores the shit out of me. All right? I, I If I jump into the fray of the Bengals and the Browns, I feel like I'm walking around a casino, Paul, and I've undone <laughs> a couple of buttons. Right? Yeah. Security starting to clock me. Keep an eye on that guy. <laughs> You're pacing um, around. What's the name of the quarterback that's that re-signed with the Browns? Oh, Watson. Um, Deshaun Watson. He's got the only I mean, guarantee. The problem, but he hasn't played a couple of years. Joe Burrow's got the tightness in the calf. Why am I? Why am I doing this, Paul? Dude, Joe Shiest. Huh? Joe Shiesty. You got it. Joe Shiesty. I know. He smokes cigars. I can't do it. Um, uh, you know what? Fuck that. I'm going to stick with my initial gut thing. I'm going to start slow, Paul. Last year, I started a little too big. I was Billy Big Britches. I'm going to take the Titans. Going down to New Orleans. Even though I love the New Orleans coach. Um, I don't know. Is there running back? That fucking... Is he getting old? They always wear a guy out like that. I'm gonna go with the Titans. What's the line again? Three. I'm coming. Huh? I'm three. getting three, right? All right. You know what, Paul? I gave a little too much last year. I, I'd like to take a little bit. I'm gonna get some points here. I'll take the Titans. I don't know, Paul. That feels like a two and two week. Who knows? It's week one. All right, I'll yeah. shut up. Go ahead. What do you got? You know, I was thinking Saints, so I'm going to decide if we go head-to-head -head here. <laughs> Ooh, a little head-to-head, -head, a little AFC head-to-head. -head. But hold on. Uh, can, I, so, can I ask you a question about a game or oh, another game that interests me? Is fucking uh, the, that Broncos-Seattle game. Minus three. Bronco Raider. No, Bronco Raider. Yeah. I'm sorry, Bronco Raider. Oh, is that not Seattle? Oh, Bronco Raiders. Still. Jimmy G coming in the first time, going up against uh, what's his face, Lewis Hamilton. What the hell's the name of the quarterback? Oh, uh, uh, best deep ball in the league. I don't give a fuck about last year. No, Russell not, Wilson. Russell Wilson. Russell Wilson. There's no fucking way, Paul. That drop off last year. That game interests me. I don't want Russell Wilson to just fucking take a bunch of money and then suck. I and know. I know he doesn't either. I don't know. I don't know. Whatever. I'm just I'm I'm gossiping during your time. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. So what do I have, Andrew? I have the Giants. Hey, Paul, you I know have... what I have? I have all four of my picks. <laughs> Putting the shades on. You're done. I'm oh, Paul. You got the Jaguars, the Giants, and the Lions. Um. Can I bring uh can I bring attention to one line that interests me? The Texans and the Ravens. The Texans are getting ten against the Ravens. I mean, that's week one. That's minus ten. You have to Yeah, you but have the decision. Yeah, but the thing is the Texans are just real bad, man. That's and Lamar and Lamar Jackson's back. But ten I hate those fucking circus games. Double digit um, points. The Cardinals are really bad, and the Commanders have like a rejuvenated thing, and they're Fuck, home. That was the goddamn game I was thinking of, Paul. The, you got to take that. 
They're nope. tanking this season. They're tanking this season, Paul. You jump on those commanders and Chiefs. Oh, wait, you can't say that, right? The commanders and Chiefs. I wonder if they're going to call them that. Uh, Chiefs is too much like Indians. we got to get away from that. Uh, I don't know, man. This is between the Saints. Uh, Paulie. Paulie. <laughs> Paulie. Oh, uh, dude, should I do it? Do it. Uh, the commanders? No, uh, yeah. I don't know. Jake the Snake, the silent assassin. I'm looking. I'm looking at his poker face. I don't, I don't know what I'm seeing there, dude. He's looking at us like he already knows the outcome of all the games, and he's just <laughs> watching us. He's like, that's how I feel. I feel like he already knows, and he's just looking at us, and he's got to be emotionless. That's what uh, I like about the Jake factor this year. He's bringing the tension. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's like waiting for Caesar to give the thumb up or down when you're done. <laughs> you know, how psyched I was when he he went like this when I when I fucking said the Titans. He did, he gave me one of these, just a little fucking uh, like that. I'm like, all right, I'm liking this, dude. We got to give him one this. of those things around the head. Um, all come right, on, man. Paul. This is this is us going back to high school. We're unsure. So what do you do? You find the kid with the glasses and you cheat off his tape. <laughs> All right, sorry. Go ahead. Uh, I'm gonna do. Dude, I'm gonna take. Jesus Christ, Paul! Paul's acting gonna... like this is a heated game of Scrabble, looking for that extra point. There we go. <laughs> Feels like watching somebody play chess at an elite level. I'm gonna take the Vikings over the Bucks by seven. I love by that. six. Yeah, because the Bucks are the Bucks are the new Bucks. Mike Evans is not happy. He might not be there. The Vikings are coming off that beating the Giants gave him in the playoffs after having a 13 and something season, and it's minus six. I think the Vikings. I just saw that game as I was scrambling, and uh, I like that game better than the others. What's wrong, Bill? That just feels like a halfback option to me. <laughs> Why? Why? I that's just something like those were two solid games you were looking at. Then out of nowhere, you you don't know who the fucking Buccaneers are. Let me tell you something, Paul. These these fucking goddamn when the spread gets this is just my theory. What do I know? You beat me the last two fucking years. All right. I just feel. When the goddamn spread gets that, the amount of fucking times they just give you a touchdown at the end of a game, and you got to cover seven. All right, and let's let's be honest with you, Paul. Okay, the fucking Vikings aren't world beaters. No, did you see what, what the... Terry Bradshaw said? He said the first half is what I, I agreed with him. Right? He goes, you know, how come I'm not brought up? He goes, I won four Super Bowls in four attempts. I won them in six years. I won two back to back. And he goes, I didn't need play calls in my helmet. He goes, there was no spy gate. There was no deflate gate. He threw the fucking Patriots under the bus. And wow. completely ignores the fact that he said, he admitted publicly that all the Steelers were on steroids, including him. It's fucking unbelievable. Listen, I'll give you spy gate, Paul. We definitely did that. It was one fucking game. It was the first game it was illegal. I'll, you know? You got us. You got this other team pumping in crowd noise. Everybody's gotten caught for something. The flight gate was complete horseshit. No, hundred percent, a hundred percent. But yeah, what the fuck is he? What you know, he? I like, really love about that. He couldn't just say I'm one of the great with his stats. He's got to throw other people under the fucking bus. Did something with my Vikings pick spark this? No. <laughs> okay. Because <laughs> I, I don't was... know what just sparked it. <laughs> You know what I liked about you, Paul? Yeah. You were you were boxing. Yeah. You were yeah. winning on points, and then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, you just led with an uppercut. You just fucking you went Buster Douglas. That fight right after Tyson. You know what it is? I don't like the Commanders' line at seven because I feel like that's a push. But I do like the Vikings at six. Oh, is it up to seven? I thought it was five. No, it's seven. All right, I see that. That made me go, ah, they know something. Seven is that number. 
by the way, Andrew, we're doing the put, we're doing the tie, right? Like we did last year, like a, a half a game is okay. Yeah. All right. So there you have it. Those are my picks. Those are Bill's picks, but uh let me give a little run read rundown, just go what they are. So Bill's got the Titans getting three, the Bears giving one, the Dolphins giving three to the Chargers. Jake doesn't like that one. Uh the Bills. Uh, getting two and a half. That's the Monday night game. We're going to talk about that again in a minute. Paul's got the Lions getting six and a half against the Chiefs opening night Thursday. Uh, Jaguars uh, giving four and a half to the hapless Colts. And uh, and uh, the Vikings minus six, as well as the Giants plus three. Paul's going to be there. So if they lose, it's his fault. There you go. I like this. I got a balanced attack. I'm I'm giving twice and I'm getting twice. Yeah, very good uh, good picks. Dude, you, you know got what I'm doing, Andrew? It's like it's like the first round. I'm just feeling it out. Yeah. Jabbing. I'm I'm trying to see what Paul's going to do this year. Dude, we I, we got were my down. Number. We were down. We were under 500 like week 8 last year and we ended up turning up turning it on late. You know, you got to figure out who these teams are. Paul, we came back like a fucking bachelor party that scored some coke. <laughs> <laughs> At like 2 in the morning, we were like scrambling on the on the floor. Uh Oh, Paul, did I mention I dropped a live podcast on YouTube that's crushing it. Hour and 50 minutes. Nice. Hour fifty, just fucking riffing. That's all. I awesome. caught a zone. It's been going great. I want to thank everybody. Like uh, the comments have been ridiculous. Amazing. Oh, that's amazing. That's so. Check that's it amazing. out. Bill Burr live at the Troubadour. That's what I'm promoting. That's what I'm promoting. Other than by the time this comes out, Andrew, I think you're going to be out my way. We are going to be Athens, in Athens, Greece, playing the Acropolis. Paul Verzi. Un- got got hurt in the preseason. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we had to go with the backup. Uh, dude, um, that's amazing. Uh, if you guys are in, well, since we're plugging stuff, hey, check out my Netflix special, Nocturnal Emissions. It's doing good. Uh, um, what was I going to say? Um, I'll be in San Diego. I'll be in San Diego where the Chargers used to play. Sorry about that, Jake. I know that bugs you. Um, October sixth and seventh, and well, that's uh, why he didn't like my Dolphins pick. He's a fucking homer. All right, I, that's I'm okay now. Yeah, yeah, I'm all right yes. now. I got the nod, and then I got the homer shake. Okay, yeah. yeah. Right, so let's take a look check. at the Monday night special. Yeah, let the Monday night special Philadelphia healing bring some money for you. <laughs> let the Monday night special. Win some motherfucking money for you, Paul. We're due. We are due. And and, and what's it's the deal, the Andrew? Do, the Monday nights. You. Now, our Monday night special, we can do three. any three bets we want. You can do three. You can do four if you feel like it. Um, we got... Uh, well, you know what Bet MGM did to us last year? They treated us like Will Chamberlain. They made Duncan illegal. Yeah, we got did. their asses too many times the first, you know? Yeah. They went Jim Irsay on us. They made how we covered their receivers illegal, and then they stole our fucking offense. <laughs> hey, Paul, let's make them change the rules again this year. Let's make let's make the listeners some money here. Well, well you back. like the Bills. Bill the likes the Bills. The gloves are off, so you guys can do whatever you want this year. The gloves are off. Well, well Bill Bill likes the Bills, and I like the Jets. So, um, hey, 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 let's go old school politician here. Let's reach across the aisle, shake hands. Let's try to figure this out, Paul. Why, why are you liking the Jets as you wipe the coke dust off your nose? What, you well, go we, out can't, last night? we can't do that. No, I just needed to pick me up this morning. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, so. I thought the wife was making breakfast. Turned out I was. I did a little bump on the sink as I was shaving my head. And then I went down there, um, made a Dutch baby. The over-under on this game is 46 and a half. 46 and a half. Week one. Bills, Jets. You like the under, huh? I like the under. I 100% like the under because I think everybody thinks it's going to go over. I think everybody's going to sell this as two gunslingers. Yeah, uh, Billy the Kid versus fucking, uh, you know, the old <laughs> fucking Jesse James. They're going to do all of that shit. And it's here's the deal. The-, the Jets are a top, top defense 
Uh, I like the under too. So we'll definitely do under 46 and a half, which means we basically have 46 points to play with there, which I like Love that Paul. Love that. everything that was said this week. I, if my own opinion, whatever it means. All right. No freckles off my ass here, Paul, but I'm telling you, I think that's the lock of the week. The under. Oh, the lock of the week. You said that confidently with the sunglasses on. I love it. I'll, I'll double down on that. Oh, Paul, I'm totally my ego right now. You should. I don't. I don't remember half the shit I've said, dude. Anytime a guy says something with confidence like that, and they got sunglasses, I'm with them. I'm fucking so, with them. So, Paul, I'm back in the caddy down the street. <laughs> you can say anything. Convertible right now. top down. <laughs> um. All right, Rogers is going to throw one, and and Josh Allen's going to throw one. So should we do? What can we do? Uh, about Josh running one in. You want to do Aaron throwing one and Josh running one? That's got to be nice odds, right? Yeah. You think you think week one, you think he's going to? He definitely. Josh Allen, if they get to the two-yard line. Hey, listen, why don't we take the advice Andrew's trying to give us, okay? We went 0 for fucking 18 last year. Let's just play the safe thing. No, no, no. I'm just. Uh, just hey, Andrew, one. have a little fucking confidence, all right? No, no, no. You know what you said. You know what you said. Well, you know, I wonder. I wonder. Week one is the coach saying, "Listen, man, let's just let's just keep it in the air." Dude, and- it's a division rivalry. The coach isn't saying shit, but win the game. All if right. Josh Allen, if Josh Allen's on the two yard line, he's taking that ball. He's a big kid. He's going to run it in. I like the pick. And Bill, you said it with no hesitation, which means that's what you think is going to happen. And that's oh, the I'm so fucking jet lagged. I don't even like. If you called me in ten minutes and said we had to do this, I wouldn't even remember that I did it. <laughs> Um, throw it one. All right. Uh, all right. Let's so, do it. Fuck it. Yeah, let's do Fuck Aaron. It, Paul. Aaron Rodgers to throw one. Josh Allen to run one. This is how the and, and the under and the under, dude. dude that's actually good, dude. I'm not. I, that's done. That might be done. That might have happened. Well, I don't know about you, but I'm 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 ready to hit the fucking first hole. Oh, dude, don't get me started, man. My back is starting to slowly get... Dude, we got to play golf. Oh, by the way, by the way, by the way, I'm going to be in Los Angeles September 27th through October 5th before I go to San Diego and perform the American Comedy Company October 6th and 7th. But guess what? On October 1st, I have an off day in LA and the Chargers are playing at SoFi. So Paulie's going. So if you guys are there, I'm thinking a little golf, a little football, a little Who are they playing? Um, it was a good game, too. Hold on. I'll tell you right now. October 1st, uh, the San Diego Superchargers. They are playing October 1st. They are playing the Raiders. Dude, Chargers, Raiders at SoFi October 1st, and I'm in town with nothing to oh, do. Oh, Paul, you think Cowboy fans Kenyan. are obnoxious? You're going to have to fly Kenny in for this one. <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of hecticness in the par- parking lot there. You're going to have to run a security oh. sweep. Oh, you know really? what? i got to be honest with you. I do find the arrogance of Raider fans hilarious. I mean, they literally haven't won anything in 40 years. And they go, Raiders! Like, that puts fear. Like, their fans are scarier than their team. <laughs> <laughs> and they've been that way for a long time. Uh, I will I say, actually, I, dude, this is my thing. If, if those fucking goddamn Raiders would just make the right decision, which is to go back to those white uniforms with the silver numbers... It's the greatest uniform in sports. If they would just do that, Paul, if they would just do that, the amount of money that they would make in merch, they could fucking throw it around a little bit. Okay? And maybe they could come back and get the next Ken Stabler, the next Lester Hayes, Willie Brown, John Matuzak, Ted Hendricks, Fred Belitnikoff, Mark Van Egan, Dave Dalby. Nice. Legends. Speaking of the Toronto. Speaking of the Raiders and merch, shout out to Deion Sanders and the week he had. We got a Colorado, uh, Boulder, Colorado alumni, Jake the Snake over here. What a performance. Oh, nice. What a performance by Sanders. I missed son. all of that. 
I they saw guarantee- so much, but I saw so much chatter about it, man. Dude, Dion De- just brings the fucking game, dude. Oh, I dude. love it. Dude, they went Colorado plays TCU, who was in the national championship last year. I mean, I know they got beat. And Deion Sanders' son, Deion Sanders' son throws for four touchdowns and 510 yards. And Deion looked at the camera going, what did you think we were going to do? I mean, it's like the greatest. He said that? He just was like basically like, you doubt it, dude. He was in the press conference. He goes, oh, man, you picked against us. No, no, no. Remember? Remember? Oh, dude, it was nuts. I love It it. It was nuts, man. Prime time. He was asking, uh, why would you think I was paying attention to what you thought was going to happen in this game? It was it was phenomenal. Goes, I know, the, best is, the best is when Dion goes, look at me. He goes, what about me makes you think I care what you think of me? <laughs> oh, my God. I'm I'm gonna Dude. if if they if they fucking Dude. brought back DVDs and they sold his fucking press conferences on them, I would buy them. He said, what about me makes you think I can't be like, what? I mean, it's the best. It was the best. Uh, so Deion man. Sanders is one of those guys that makes you go to the gym. Like, he's yeah. not even talking to you. He's talking to his team. You still, he come, jumps out of the screen. You feel like he's talking to you. And, dude, his son is the best. His son was in the gym, and Dion goes, all right, my son wants to do an impression of me. And his son did him so fucking funny. And everyone was crying, laughing. You got to hear Dion's son make, he's making fun of his dad, really. Cause he's like doing his, like the way he talks. It was really funny. But um, can we talk about this for a second? Jimmy Garoppolo is a really, really handsome, handsome Italian kid. Who's now the quarterback of the Raiders. And I got to be honest with you. I think they're going to do pretty good. I think the Raiders are going to do pretty good with Jimmy G there. We'll see, but he's never been a, the only problem with that guy was, was staying healthy. That guy stays healthy. That guy can 100% play. He's a winner. I love that guy. I, uh, you know, he, he's got a, he reminds me of, uh, who's the guy we said, all he does is win Vince young, but then <laughs> Vince young lost his fucking mind. <laughs> Threw his pads in the crowd. Remember that? That ended up being his Achilles heel because all he did was win. <laughs> it's the first time he lost. He didn't know and, how to handle it. Yeah. And he had oh, a we've co- all been there, Paul. <laughs> Haven't we all in metaphorically thrown our shoulder pads in the crowd at some point? We've all done <laughs> Maybe he didn't do it at a football game. Maybe he did it at a brunch. Hey, if you're married, okay. No. Um, all right. So that is our picks for the week. That's the Monday night special. Is That's you throwing the fucking empty trash can back in the garage. <laughs> fucking doing this shit to come home for this. Uh, dude, I'll tell you what, real quick, my wife had me go to something I didn't want to go to. And you know what I did? She goes, come on, it's just a couple hours. And I just put my fucking, I just, I just changed. I, I, I just smiled and said, okay, let's go two hours. You know what? Made my life easier. It does. It does, Paul. If you just do what they want you to do, then, then everything is great. And in their fucked up heads, they feel that that's a balanced relationship. And it isn't. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why men have NFL football. <laughs> the and only yet, thing that keeps it going. We are 48 is the hours. Hope. Yes. We are 48 hours away, guys. Almost 48 hours away from kickoff for the NFL football season. And did you see what that one guy did? Well, I'm nine hours ahead, dude. So I'm, I'm only 32 hours. Did you see what that one <laughs> guy did? 39 hours away. <laughs> Did you see what that one guy did to his wife? He did like one guy, he did a, a retirement to his wife. Uh, he goes Thursdays, Saturdays, and no, Thursdays, Mondays, and Sundays. You can't ask me anything. And he did this whole retirement plan. He said, until February, I can't, you don't have to, you can't ask me to do anything. It was really funny. I'll send it. Oh but my was, God. I'm not available on these days. There was just a guy going, listen, till February, I can't be, you can't ask me to do anything on Thursday, Monday, and Sunday. And he gave like, it was really funny. I'll send was it to you. Was she laughing? Somebody, I think it was just like, he basically went on like a half a retirement for the season just so she can't bust his balls. It was great. The only bad day they can bitch about is Sunday because it's all day and it's three games. But Monday night and Thursday night, I mean, that you're, it's the same amount of them watching Real Housewives. Well, dude, for me, my wife loves the NFL almost as much as me. She just wants it on all the time. She loves cooking during it. She watches the game. I mean, it's great. Thank God. Thank God, dude. That would have been, been a deal breaker. Dude. Who do you think you are? 
Frankie Valley or some, or some kind, kind of, of big, big shot. shot. Um, all right, guys. Well, those are our picks. The Monday night special. Don't she forget. Had big eyes, and she made me Z. <laughs> <laughs> Don't forget to 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 sign up for the Monday night special. We got forty six and a half. We're taking the under Bills Jets. We got big Josh Allen running one in, and we got Aaron Rodgers throwing one. That would be our first one, dude. If we nail the first. First one. Oh, you guys better get ready for a season. You got Bill's picks. You got my picks. And make sure, guys, you go to the BetMGM app, okay? And you sign up or you log in, whatever you did last year. You do it again. You sign up. If you didn't, all you got to do, guys, is put $10 in, okay, to qualify. And then uh, you get $200 regardless of what happens with your wager. Please bet responsibly. Don't forget the suicide pool. You got to sign up by September 7th. Not the, the survivor pool. The, the survivor pool we called it the other thing when we were when we were growing up but uh you pick one game one team a week and then that team gets eliminated it's not a spread it's basically just win the game right andrew if i'm correct it's no spread it's just it's win the game and then that team gets eliminated and then if you go the whole way if you run the table you're getting a, a quarter of a million dollars everybody you're getting 250k uh, for your survivor pool. So there you go. It's free when you sign up. So just sign up, have fun with that. Please bet responsibly. Uh, we are very happy to be back. This was our picks for week one. And um, we will see you guys next week. Yeah, check out uh, Bill's uh, live podcast that he did on YouTube. Check out my YouTube channel. Live at the Troubadour. Live at the Troubadour. Uh, for my dates, uh, we will be in uh, San Diego. American Comedy Company, October 6th and 7th, Helium, Philadelphia, uh, October 20th and 21st. More dates come in November. Got a big, oh, Paulie's got a big announcement for New Year's Eve in New York City. Paulie might be doing a theater there in New York City on New Year's Eve. Stay tuned. We're announcing that on September 18th. And uh, and yeah, and I'm going to be doing my new special probably in Chicago in the in the winter. Not the best time to be there, okay? Uh, all right, guys, I You'll will warm them up with your laughter <laughs> and my heart. Um, There you go. That's it. This has been week one. Hope you guys enjoy football. Football is back. Take care. We will see you for week two next week, everybody.